everyone, and uh, welcome to another show here uh, at What Tools Inside. We got Josh here. Josh has a barbecue has a barbecue set up on his uh, his Hello. side of the pond. There he is. There. The welcome birds. To the show, everyone. Suddenly, the birds around me have decided they're just they're not happy with something, and they're chirping like crazy. Give it a minute. I'm sure they're going to move on. You're in there. You're in there. Uh, the domain. Must be something's not right. So, okay, so listen, so here's what we're going to do today. Today we're going to show you a couple of different cleaning products from Amazon for the grill. Okay, because if my grill is dirty, it's barbecue season time, it's time to start cleaning new, cleaning your grill up, getting it ready for this season, right? And Josh, on the other hand, is tell us a little bit about yours, Josh. What's going on with you? Well, I'm, what I'm doing here is I have a, a gas line that, uh, that I'm going to be replacing. Um, the one they sent me was faulty, and I'm just now getting to it two years later. So that's a couple of the things that I do a lot of. Uh, oh. I do. Go ahead. I do a lot of stuff on a charcoal, right? So right now, actually, this is like uh, 300 degrees because I just cooked a turkey on it. So, but I'm working on the gas side, so I should be okay. Oh, hot on one side and gas on the other. That should yeah. work out. That should work out well. No worries there at all. But uh, something we want to get into just before we start talking about these products is our brother uh, Philip recently built a desk, um, and uh, he he built that with his uh, with Kate, and uh, yeah. he's gonna and we're gonna see how that uh, how that came together. We got some pictures to show you. We're gonna pull that up in a minute, but let's first of all get Philip on and he can explain the pictures for us. So let me see if he'll uh, join us here. He should be, uh, he'll pop on here in just a second. But you guys are going to love the show today. we got lots of stuff. Those of you who are joining us live on, uh, oh, there he is. Live on uh, on Instagram, welcome. We're going to have a little giveaway for yeah. you in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we'd love to have everyone here. and Put your comments in. We have people now, monitoring. If it won't connect with you, man, I'll call him because uh, he answers me. He kind of ignores you half the time. Maybe that's what it is. He's just ignoring my call. That happens. Yeah, here, let me just... Uh, Oh, you gotta wait for this. To, you have to wait for it to try. It just runs, run, sort, run its way out. Otherwise, it won't work. Turn okay. the lights off. Oh, I thought you were telling me that. She sent. She held up a piece of paper, and I thought she was telling me to turn my lights off. Right. So here's the products we're gonna be working with. While we're waiting for this to connect here with Philip, who hopefully it will in a sec. This one's called Simple Green. Right. And this is a heavy-duty barbecue grill cleaner. Uh, basically, you spray it on according to the instructions. So it says here that I have to um, never use on hot surfaces. So this is cool. This is I haven't used it yet today. Shake the can well. I'll shake it a bit more in a minute. Spray on the dirty surface, holding the can eight to 10 inches away. So we'll do that too. I also live next to a speedway. you hear cars once in a while. Hey, Phil, welcome on to the show, bud. Phil, what's up, bud? Thank you. Not much, not much at all. All right, well, listen, we got- you recently yes. you recently built a desk. Yes, I built a desk there uh, in my uh, garage, almost in the middle of winter. Middle of winter. I worked. All right. Well, I want to see. I was thinking you were gonna. I was thinking you were gonna show us uh, show us where you make the desk in the garage. Uh, it's very low low signal over that area. Oh, you're right. You're right. Because you have, right now he's perched on a windowsill where you can get some window. You know. Yeah. The signal's just out of reach. Oh, yeah, just there. So Phil, on this uh, first picture that we're putting up here, this is the one here, Mario. You can see it in there with the. Uh... So on this picture, oh, I meant the wrong picture. Okay, this is this one, this one here. So they're not in order at all by any means. But what are the what is that wood that you're using? Uh, we use cedar. That was uh, had some old cedar had cracks in it, and I uh, right. took that and put it through this put it through my planer. What planer did that you was use? That first step. I had a, um, a craftsman planer. A craftsman, okay. So you ran it through it there to really get it all good. nice and straight and flat, and kind of run yeah, down. Most of it. Yeah. Okay. And then. You came, came out very smooth, and the smell you get from a planer is always an awesome smell. Yeah, yeah. When, you're, when, you're, yeah when you're ripping down that stuff. Then you got this one here. Um, I'm, doing the, I'm showing the L shaped uh, on, the, on the floor. You got all the, all the boards kind of cut into an L shape there. So. Yeah. yeah. What did you do? You mitered those? What saw did you use to miter those with? What did you have? That was a uh, Mastercraft miter saw with a laser on it there. That really helped a lot. Yeah, to line her up. 
Exactly, yeah. It looks like those miners. I was looking at this, Bill, when I, when, uh, when I first saw it, you, you posted a picture on Instagram of the finished product. And I, I did, you guys did an awesome job, but I thought you just refinished the desk. But you actually built the desk. That's what yeah, I did. It looks yeah, amazing. All right, so now I'm looking at it where it, they're installing the legs. So they got the board upside down, and they're here, this one here, Mark. You can zoom in on that one there. So that's the picture that we're looking at now. So what did you build that out of? Just two by fours or what? Yeah, we took a two by four and uh, we took out the Ryobi table saw and we uh, sliced those two by fours in half to make the legs everywhere. Oh, okay. And, uh, that turned out very well, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And I see you there in the picture. You're holding. Uh, was that like a. Oh, that's just the other leg of the drill. You got a drill and, a, and what drill do you have in your hand there? The uh, Craftsman? Oh, that's the. Uh, yeah, it's the Bosch Freak. Oh, that's the Bosch Freak. I can't see it. It's kind of, oh, yeah, you're right. Look, look a little closer, Mark. Awesome drill. I haven't charged that thing for months and months, and it's still full. So yeah. Even after the desk, it's still full. It's a very good job. You got a nice DeWalt back there, too. Yeah, I have DeWalt, uh, Milwaukee, um, Makita. I have uh, all the kind of drills. I love them all. Okay, so then I look at this one here. What you did was you put a... Um, this is the one where it's set up in your living room, I think. You're trying to get this... Uh, you put, like, a whole nosing all the way around it, too, did you? <laughs> Yeah, like on the top. Yeah, that's just another piece of cedar. Just to kind of box, just to sort of box it in. That's nice. Exactly. Yeah. And then, I see, the finished product. Let me just see. I like how you did the legs. I really do. Uh, thank I'm trying you. to get a. I'm trying to get an aerial shot of the finished product here. Oh, there it is. So there's the finished desk there. That looks nice. Made, made that yeah, it's very you know what I like actually. What I like what you did, Bill, is the uh, the angled brace in the corner. This way here, you're not uh, hitting your leg on a on a post that's right there. You have oh, clear, yeah. feet, clear, clear foot space. Yeah, that's, what that's why I kind of did that. So you, if you're on a swivel chair, you can just swivel back and forth. Your knees won't hit the middle. Right. All right. So listen, you stay Maybe on. Maybe you're there. wasting your time on the mines. You should be building a. You're building furniture instead. Yeah, stay on there with uh, us, Phil. We're gonna start doing this cleanup for a few minutes. A little bit of both. Oh, what's yeah. that? Look at this, drinking out of the, the cup. That's uh, Minecraft. Yeah. Minecraft, so, no. All right, Josh, Mario, Josh. Josh, what are you gonna work on uh -huh. first? Uh, what's that? What are you gonna work on first? Are you gonna start taking your part, uh, you take it apart? Yeah, I'm gonna start taking this apart whenever we, uh, whenever we start there. Well, let's see what you got going on. Go ahead and get started with what you're gonna work on. I'll get myself set up. Well, here I'm just, I'm just going to show you the tools. I got the uh, the 12 volt, the, the Bosch 12 volt that I, uh, that I took from the office. Right. That I'm going to be using. Uh, and I got the Bosch the, uh, the 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 Bosch bit set, right? The torque bit set. So basically, what I've done is I'm, I, I, I took off these dials. Okay, so these are these are like this. And I'm hoping that it's as simple as taking this off, removing these screws, and then it comes down and I pull it out. Uh, let's find out. Alright. First I need this. And then this. Amazing. So I got just a rusty old metal. Just, these, well, these screws never go back in that rust. I know, but Josh, you should have had this. Did you have any of this with you? No, it would have been nice. I know I have the WD-40, but not that one. This is the penetrant. It's fast-acting formula. What this I love does, that stuff. yeah, and he could have, he could have used this. He could have turned it and went right in the right spot to get those rusty screws. Then you would have been able to put them back without a problem. I wish you had some. I would have sent it to you. Uh, while Josh is doing the uh, drilling, my last, uh, I had a ratchet, a vice uh, grip, completely seized. I put a WD-40 over every little bit, uh, bit and piece, moved it back and forth. She's brand new right now. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm so shocked. Honestly. Impressed, huh? Yeah, it's good stuff. WD-40. Yeah. People forget about that. They forget that they use it. Yeah. All right. So while Josh is taking his apart, I'm gonna work on this grill over here, guys. So here's what I got. I got an old. I'm gonna throw you this. Here. this is I knew it. What? You broke your screws? No, but. It's going to be a nightmare because now i got to get into the barbecue and pull off the screens. You can see how dirty this barbecue is. Really. Uh, what I'm going to do, first, first things first, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these out. Because what I want is to get all this junk out of here. Right. 
that's the that's the biggest problem. Is you get all this junk. Put that down inside the. I got a box here with some with some paper towel or some uh, with a bag in it. And you just knock it. Just in dismantling that. this. What a mess. You actually really save. Your barbecue will last a long time if you if you keep cleaning it. Like a lot of times you just never clean it. Like look at this. When was the last time I cleaned this thing? A season ago. How's it going over there, Josh? Good. You know what I wish I had, man, is a uh, is my headlamp. I'm just gonna use my phone light. Oh, I. Right. I hope for the best here. Yeah. No. All right, so here I got this is two of them. Okay, right, I'm gonna put this down here. You got some nice barbecues like that right now. Well, this barbecue is a uh, this is a Kenmore. This is from Sears. It's not really a very expensive barbecue at all. I just I try to keep it up. They, they keep them up. So I just got a wire brush, like your barbecue brush, you know. I'm just giving that a little, little what for. Bring that up. Uh, these, you can actually replace these. You can order these. You just have to know the size. You can order the size of them. Once, once these rot out, you can just order new ones. They're not, they're not expensive. They're inexpensive. But these ones are still good for a while. These are heat deflectors. I'm uh, appreciating this. Uh, this little light that's on here, Matt, uh, on this drill. Right. It's giving me all the light I need inside the grill to find that uh, that uh, greased over bolt, you know? Right. Okay, so all my burners and that, I'm gonna leave them right where they are. But I happen to have a very handy little tray here. It slides out the back like that. This is my uh, my grease trap thing. I can do it without getting too too messed up. It's like an old grease trap thing, right? Clean that needs to be cleaned out. And all this will look like this. We do all that and I forgot to turn off the, the, the gas to the line. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Typical uh, to our house. An explosion in the middle of uh, an Amazon. There you go, just taking that off. How's everybody's day today going? What have you guys been up to? What did you work on in your house? We had, uh, had a snowstorm in northern Ontario in Canada here. Right. I, uh, I did a project with my son. I made a big roll of color. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna slide go, this Mark. back in because I can spray it all. Okay, so this is gone. This is the old one. I don't really know if it's really wrong, but what happens is I contacted the manufacturer because it gets so hot. Like my grill gets to 500 degrees, and I'm like I, every time I'm cooking anything on the gas side, it's at minimum. Everything's at minimum. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe maybe a regulator in here is bad or something, but let's see. Okay, so here you can see what I've got on this side here. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do both chemicals. Have a look over here, Mark. Come on right in here. I want you to see this. You see how we've got? I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna do this in half. Okay, I'm gonna put all the spray this part, put a grill on, spray that section with one product. On the other side, I'm gonna do the other product, and let's see which one works out. Okay, we're gonna do like a little. A little trial here, trial run. So I never know how these things work. It's, it said shake vigorously, right? I think we're good there. That's good. So I'm just spraying it on everything. You can see the foam action. You see that it's working? Uh oh, uh oh, spaghetti. -o. So that's about half there, right here. Now, oh, I didn't use this. Put that back in. 
it all drips down inside. That's going to catch any juice. Okay, so that's the, uh, yeah, let me put one of these grills on there. Possible? No, I just did. Okay, so that's so that take a picture or two. We'll put that on that side. This is this side. This is a citrus seed. Stuff on grease, but it's, it's a citrus seed. You see, this is not foaming like the other one. Smells fantastic. You can smell it's like a degreaser. That's one issue, I, like any of these spray bottles, if you turn it upside down, you know, as it, as it loses its uh, power, I mean, it loses its volume, you're going to lose course ability. Josh, how's it going over there, bud? Just let me focus. <laughs> <laughs> that's good here. Oh, that's all that's all the dripping down the side. Look at that lid. Where did that go? <laughs> I'm messing my pool the other day. Okay, so look, I put lots on there. This one says you put it in. Yeah, we were waiting for some tips, you yeah, have nothing. And by the way, uh, once you, um, it, once the snow melts, you'll be able to do your barbecue too, bud. So just hang on, hang in there. Oh, can't wait. All right. Can't wait. We'll let you go ahead and hang up, okay? All right, sounds good, guys. Okay. Nice seeing you guys again. See ya. Love you, bud. Okay, so this was the uh, simple green on this side. This is the citrus safe on this a barbecue grill cleaner. Now this one says... Liberally apply to the grill's cooking surface and surrounding areas, soil with grease spatter. Wait one minute, allowing it to penetrate the grease, and then wipe the surface with a paper towel. This is one minute, it's saying. This one is saying. Got right, Josh back here. This one says, leave for several minutes. Longer for heavy grease builds. So we'll leave that one, let it really work. And you can see that it's working. You can see how it's like cutting that grease up, right? And this one here, you can see that it's working too, but let's make sure it's well coated. I don't want any excuses. Right? Yeah, yeah. Now we should be able to just wipe that clean in a minute or two. How are you doing, Josh? Let's look at your project for a bit. Well, I'm not convinced. Right. You're not convinced. Why? Well, now line it up again, and so that's normally a sign that things aren't the as they should be. Normally a sign that things aren't as they should be. Let me turn this off. Well, see, they're awfully close, but. So when close. you're dealing with gas, you want to make sure that your seals are good, you know what I'm saying? Well, there's no seals there, are there? Yeah. What do you mean seals? It's a sealed unit. That's just holding it for your handle. Oh, I know. Well, it is, man. All right. All right, now here. This said one minute, right? Isn't that what it said? Wait one minute. It's been a minute. 
Just yeah, I'll get this stuff for you. That actually came off nice like that. Right? That's never come off that easy before. You won't be able to hear us. Um, I use a grill stone sometimes to clean the grill. And this is what it's called here, the cleaning tool. So this is called grill stone. Loud, right? And this will uh, really help clean this up. Who's going to deny his, his wife is what she wants, you know? Alright, there you go. That wasn't so bad, everyone. So you can see, look how nicely this takes it off. This stuff. Watch, I'll give you a wipe down here. It just cleans it right up. This is a black grill, by the way. It's not a silver one. <laughs> you see how there's still some stuff right there in there? Okay, watch. Designed for your grill net. Yeah, this is a. It's called a. Uh, look at the package. This is called the grill stone. It's a cleaning block. <laughs> See, this cleans up. Safe on grills. Won't clog brushes like pad brushes and pads. And it does work really, really well. And it's inexpensive. Okay, now I'm going to take this. Put it down here. I got like a little bin on the side here. Oh, I need to put a water. A water. Water for days. I'll go, I'll go around. Good. Well, 
getting anywhere? I know, uh, I had to remove the igniter to, uh, to the igniter in order to get it back in. Um, for whatever reason, it didn't want to go back in with it there. So, evidently, you put it in afterwards. That's my thought, anyway. All right. So now that this is cleaned off a little bit, you can see some of the junk that's still on. Okay. Right up. I just set up a little bin of some kind that you can just keep all your dirt and garbage contained. This fits right in between like that after you worked it a bit. And you can see how it's it's like a it's like a sponge that's kind of wearing away, right? See that? Are there any questions? This is actually this one came really quite quite easily. Yeah, a little bit of the tricky time to get into this uh, the slide door. You having a hard time? You said. Okay, it's, uh, it's a flex hose, so it doesn't want it to stay there. Okay, explain it there, Josh. Oh, the uh, screws are just stripping. There we go. So what was we the issue? The flex hose one. Mm -hmm. that, this part is on a flex hose, and so it didn't want to stay in place. You know, like the other ones? Right. So you had to hold it to line it up, but it didn't, but you had to bend it to the right degree, the right angle. Okay. Well, this shouldn't go in no problem. All right, now I sprayed this stuff all over in here. Yeah, you can see this, now that it's been sitting for a while, that stuff's just all wiping off. Just full of junk. It'll just be here for days. Oh, we'll clean up. Really okay. nice. I love barbecuing. It's one of my favorite things to do. You can cook up a nice meal on there, nice steak. Seafood, I love cooking fish on a cedar plank. Awesome. What's your favorite food to cook on, Josh, on the barbecue? Uh, just red meat, generally. Although I just did a nice turkey, and that's a heavenly day. Well, I did. I just did a, a, a spatcock turkey. I split, took the spine out and uh, bladed it flat, and that turkey came out so good. I just cooked for three, four hours today, and had it for dinner. And uh, man, it turned out good. What did you do to the poor turkey? Golden brown, because I. What did you say? I said, what did you do to the poor turkey? You, you you cut you you flip it over and put the breast down, and then you cut out its spine, and then you cut the breast bone a little bit, and then you flay it. You, you flay it, lay it flat out, and uh, it cooks nice and even in a barbecue on the grill. Right. You don't have to do it that way, of course. You can do whatever you want, but it uh, it was nice. It turned out really good. All right. So here's here's what I'm going to tell you uh, right now with regards to this stuff. This is definitely, in my opinion, really cutting the grease down really well but don't forget this is this actually says non-toxic and biodegradable formula 
It has no caustic fumes, VOC compliant, non-flammable, non-corrosive. All right, I like that. Simple green, it's called. Heavy duty barbecue grill. The citrus one smells really nice. It is cutting the grease, but not, I mean, I got a lot of heavy duty grease. I bet you if you were just doing like a regular maintenance, this would be great for that. But this one is really, was really bad. I'm just gonna spray a little bit more on this side. Let that, just right here a little bit. I'm not knocking that product because it is good and it is it does smell nice, it's nice to work with. This one smells a little stronger, but uh, yeah. I'll use my little thing on this too. A little stone. The stone thing has been working out really nice. This, uh, this brush. I guess I could wear. I should be wearing gloves. I don't know. Biodegradable stuff. All of it. But like I was saying, this this particular uh, brush product. Where did I put the label of this? Thing? Right here. The grill stone. It's called. Look how, look how down it is. It's like it's basically made to use for the cleaning of the one-time purpose here. When it gets really bad like this. Right. So we got a lot of new stuff coming up, guys. I hope you're paying attention to what we got going on. But uh, some new products coming out that we're going to be showing you guys. But we want you guys to have a chance to win something right now. I always like to have, we always like to have something that you can win, right? What we're going to play for right now is this Stinger brush. This is a uh, about a twenty-five dollar brush. It has that flexible, uh, that, that little bit of a stiffer tip on the end. Allows you to get right in close to when you're when you're cutting an edge. Gets right in there at the end and gets that edge nice and tight. Clean lines. Beautiful stinger brush. For your chance to win this, we want to know, will you be barbecuing anytime soon? Simple as that. Not asking a lot. Doc, what would your answer be? Uh, I did it today. Too soon. Oh, I thought maybe he, I thought maybe he wasn't listening. I'll catch him in that. Oh no, I'm listening. This has, been a, this has been a tricky, it's been a tricky thing. I'm a little bit worried that uh, the that the the igniter lines, because I had to disconnect them, were rusted. I'm a little worried that they're not going to ignite. So that will be an issue for me. Let me just plug this in and see how it works. I'm going to hook this up to the gas, the propane. Just stand back, would you? The, the line uh, is longer, which is nice. Okay, good. So one did break, uh, but two on the outside worked, and that let the, the one in the middle. So for so far, we're I'm okay with that. I can live with that. <laughs> That is something that you'll deal with. Um, and you know what I'm going to do now? I wish I had the stuff that you had, Matt, because what I'm going to do is, uh, I did this earlier today. I'm going to take my barbecue brush, and I'm just going to hit lightly the, um, the holes in the filament, uh, the, the holes on the, on, along the fire. Right. So that kind of uh, gives a nice even burn. You don't want hot spots. Mark, I want you to come in here while Josh is working on that. I want to come in right here. You see how dirty that one corner is, okay? This is going to show you how well this stuff works. It's kind of hard to see otherwise, right? Let me turn your light on. Come right in there. You can see how all that junk is, right? Now we're going to give that a wipe with this, with this cloth here. See how it's all coming right off? The same thing happened on the other side with the other product, by the way. This came right off. Just like that. 
I'm afraid to get in there and get dirty a little bit. Look, there's a screw right here. You didn't even know this. See? You can see it. All along this edge, you, you gotta get it all. Nice and clean. I'm actually happy about this. This is finally getting done. Yeah, so. What happened over there? Actually cleaned it up nice, and I got some nice fire, uh, good, good clean fire. I hit these uh, plates while I'm here, and hit these. Clean that up a bit. This right. is just that I fire guard. Thing thing to do. One more thing to do, and then I can just clean up the outside at my leisure. Oh, I gotta put these back in. That's right. It's not, the, it's not the cleanest of jobs, is it, Matt? No, it's a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare to be honest with you. But gotta be done. Slide that one over there. This one on. This one. I go the wrong way. What is it? What? Right. Oh. Citrus one. Now, why do you think it's a good idea to clean your grill? So your food doesn't taste bad? What's that? So your food doesn't taste bad? I don't know why. Well, I guess that's, that's one reason, but I'm talking like even under your grill, under the underside of your grate. Alright, let me get this tray out of the bottom. Clean that out. It's because you, uh, you won't have flare ups that way. Do what? You know, minimizing your flare ups if you clean your grill, press grease and stuff, you know? Right. I just get all this junk out of here. Gotta scrape it, get the gunk out of there. And now, now it's locked. Sorry guys, I'm not very talkative when you're, when you're working away on something. My job, my job over here is all finished. I was able to change the gas line, right. get it hooked back up, put, put all the screws back in. Everything over. Except for the one igniter that you're doing. I don't doing. think it fixed my problem. I don't think it fixed my problem. I think I still have to, I'm still going to have to have it at the minimum. Not sure, but it just might be because of the barbecue, the small, it's a small canister barbecue, right? So it's only this big. Right. On the gas side, and so. So, yesterday, yesterday we did a, um, the game, the live game show, which was a lot of fun. I rewatched it today, and uh, it was a lot of fun. We had, we, we were having good laughs. Uh, but yeah. we had a lot of yeah. giveaways. Man, we had like. We had like nine or ten different prizes to be won. And we really appreciate the sponsors for continuing to get us those prizes. Despite uh, the situation we all find ourselves in and work getting cut back from people. And, uh, so we're going to keep trying to find different projects around the home while we're here quarantined to, uh, you know, to get you guys uh, interested in seeing what we're doing.
I just built that swing. I'll have a whole video on how that was put together. We built that with some scrap wood we had. Um, and then that whole garden oh, back there. Can you trust it, Matt? Oh, yeah, you can trust it. I'll have a seat. I will, right after this show. Have a seat, kid. i got to clean this one more pan here, and I'm gonna, my barbecue will be done. Just give me a second. Clean it after. No, I want it cleaned now. Let's get this clean. Like this. This has been a long... I don't think... I cleaned it once since I bought it, like, a year and a half ago. Uh, Sears, I got it. was Craftsman, or no, uh, Kenmore, Kenmore brand. Now I know that you can get this probably a little cleaner than this, but for the sake of everybody's sanity, all right, I'm just gonna give that a rinse and we'll call it a day on that. Josh, what is that you're using? This here. Uh, do you remember um, when we were at a trade show? We were at a trade show like uh, three years ago. This is called the Grill Brush. You might be able to get it on Amazon. Um, but the guy designed it specifically so that you, when you're cleaning your grill, yes, yes, you can put you can put ice cubes in here with a lemon, and it steams the grill um, as you go. It's it's a steamer and scrapes and the end. This is replaceable. So see this bolt in here? You take this bolt out and you put in a new thing, you don't need to buy a new handle. I've had this outside now for, for years. And it looks like something out of the Middle Ages. <clears throat> this, uh, uh, it's a club. Okay, so here, so there you go. So that's the, the main barbecue part now is, is clean enough that I can turn this on and run it and burn off any of that additional things that need to get burned off, right? So all in all, I'm glad I got the different products to try out. I'm happy uh, with both, but probably more impressed with the quick, with the with the strength of the simple green. A little stronger um, than yeah. than the citrus, but again, this one asked us to leave it on longer. This one only said leave it for a minute, so maybe it would make a difference if you left it longer. I don't know. I'll have to try that on the next one. So that's the little ones there. Um, there Dar, if you could, uh, can I get the um, barkeeper's friend? I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Okay, I don't know if you guys, maybe people know it, I don't know. The barkeeper's friend is our best friend. Because, uh, oh, by the way, the Stinger Brush winner was Wonderland underscore pack. Wonderland pack, congratulations, Wonderland you won that. So, look, barkeeper's friend is really great stuff. Just like a powder, almost like a comet. Okay? But you yeah. can use it on everything, basically, all kinds of stuff. Uh, all kinds of cooktops and whatnot. I'm going to get my, my cloth wet a little bit here. And then it just turns into like a soap and scrub, and you can see it just takes off all the all the dirt there. Look, cleans that right up. You see that little rust spot? Took it right off. It cleans the, uh, the whole surface. I'm just doing a quick a quick through here. And then you're what, you're going to rinse that after? Well, then you just use another cloth and wipe it down. Right? And that just gives you, I mean, if you really take your time and scrub it, you're going to get all this junk off. See that? That was, that was bad. If you need a little extra, you put a little more. It's called Barkeeper's Friend. Since 1882. Been around for a while. I saw this tip, Matt, on uh, when, I was, uh, when I was cooking my my turkey here today. Right. They said um, they the put back. a little bit of uh, the uh, uh, canola oil spray or or olive oil spray on your turkey before you put the rub. This is a little barbecue tip. And what it does is that sticks the the rub sticks to it really well, and it and you won't lose it when you try to move it or you do something. It sticks to it really well, and it came out perfect today. All right, let's have a let's Here's have a wipe, wipe this down and see how this turned out. All right. so look how nice and clean and shiny, and it's just that little bit of powder, and it's cheap. That's not expensive at all. I probably could have used that on the whole grill. There you go, that's barkeeper's friend. Let's give a little bit on the 
Cleans everything up nice. Well, Josh, I appreciate you joining me here just today to do this barbecue cleaning. Yeah, no problem. <clears throat> I still got I still got charcoal burning here. Still, my temperature is still 225. It's perfect smoking temperature. You do a lot. Uh, but, uh, you do a lot of smoking, don't you? That's the one thing I'm very impressed with this grill. Actually, you can buy this grill on Amazon. Right? Where I bought it. Oklahoma Joe. Um, if you look here, uh, they give you a nice serial number. They have they have nice um, um, uh, reviews. Temperature gauges on top. Oh. This is a gas that your gas side. You have a side burner. Your your charcoal, and then your smoker. Now your smoker has a chamber that's connected to the charcoal, so you're kind of doing all of your indirect heat and cooking on this side here like like turkey and your ribs and, and whatever it is that you want to do and you add your smoked your wood chips to this over here this is a warming plate so you keep your like i had my butter that i was basting my turkey with today i had that sitting on here keeping it nice and warm well a real nice system uh and it's, and i think yeah, i don't know what it was 400 bucks maybe um yeah i i I'm, i recommend it it's, it's great it's great i love it I use it all the time. So, um, what I wanted to say, Josh, was if you're so it's hot out here in South Florida, boys and girls, um, it's it's so um, you're so into this whole cooking on the grill thing. Why don't we do something next week? Actually, do some cooking. You cook some meat. Sure. I'll cook some meat, and we'll put it together. We'll try something. I'll use some different seasonings, maybe that we can get on Amazon, and uh, yeah. we'll, we'll have those and see what uh, see how it turns out. How does that sound? In fact, you can get your meat from um, Green, what is it? Uh, it's called um, Whole Foods from Amazon, Ooh. right? So there you go. Looks like a brand new barbecue. Doesn't it look good? Nice and clean, ready to go, ready for the next meal to be served. Yep. All right, guys, thank you very much for joining us here today on uh, What's Tools Inside. Yeah, Don't forget. They want to see you have a seat. They want to see you sit oh, in your, right. say goodbye in your, your chair. I'll say goodbye in my chair. Mark's going to have to walk over there and watch. You can see. I'm going to take my, my uh, leather apron off, though, for this one. Here we go. It's dirty. Ugh. I can tell you something. I don't know, who, I don't know about the rest of you, but I've been gaining weight on this staying home business. I'm going to fix that I next know. week. All right, here we go. So here's what I built. It's just uh, four by fours, two by sixes. We'll do a show about it later. Not a problem to get in. Again, you can't see me, but everyone else can see me. Thanks for joining us, guys. It was great having you. We will see you again with another show with Josh and I tomorrow. Don't forget to download the WTI app for your chance to win tools all the time. In fact, there's an IQ giveaway coming up this evening, so tune in for that. Thanks very much, guys. We will see you again tomorrow. See you, Josh.